farther in. <laughs> See how big he is. Feels like a good fish. Oh, what the hell? I snagged him. Seriously? He was quite big, but I snagged him. He probably went for it and just missed it. what we're after right there boys and girls nice fish Finally got another one. Little guy. Holy shit. Boys and girls, we got a Walter. No way. Pretty good one, too. Oh yeah, sweet. All right guys, we got a Walter. This might be dinner. Yes. 23 inches. Pretty nice looking fish.
night, guys. I got dinner right there in the live well. Bill's pump doesn't work. Or aerator pump. Sorry, aerator pump doesn't work. So I got a pitcher I got to fill the damn thing up with. But 22-inch walleye there. It's a good eater. That's about as big as I want to keep to eat. But be a good meal. Got that on the Spro Fat Papa bluegill here. Bluegill pattern. Oh yeah, nice bass. Starting to pick up here a little bit maybe. There we go, oh, right into the net. Short tail, holy crap. Get bass there. See how long she is. I don't think it's too big. And a little over 17, but still. Nice fat fish. See you, buddy. All right, guys, so we're gonna pull the plug out here, and I'm going to pull the plug. Here's my dinner. Pull the plug out of the live well here. Can't transport water, so. Well, buddy's gonna die here. I'm so sorry, buddy, but Dying for a good cause. Just show you guys this beautiful fish here. That right there is gonna be dinner. Ah. Bet you it took a lot of perch to get you this big, didn't it? It's not really that giant, but it's definitely a nice fish. Alright guys, so I'm going to continue this at home with a little cleaning and cooking of that walleye, show you guys how I prepare it. It's quite a struggle out here today, I got about five hours in I think and I got five fish, so it's about a fish an hour, which is not great. I mean I got some decent fish, but that walleye really turned it around, that made my day. Last ten days have been pretty tough, I haven't really done that good and I've been working late, so. I haven't been able to get up for the early morning bite, but tomorrow I'm going to be taking my mom out for her birthday and we're going to hit the lake at about 7, so hopefully I can get a good night's sleep and be focused and ready to hammer them tomorrow morning, and hopefully we do so, but I'm going to continue it at home, show you guys how to prepare the walleye, see you guys in the kitchen. Alright, so first off we're going to pull this fin up and then cut along the here. I'm definitely not a professional filleter. I haven't been doing this very long, but if you've never filleted a fish before, this is probably better than just winging it. And you're going to go up along the spine here. Just kind of follow the spine down. Once you get to about this back fin, past the rib cage, you can poke all the way through and then just push down and follow the spine all the way to the tail. Then pull up to 
to about right here where the rib you left off on the rib cage and then you can start working along the rib cage. So we're just gonna kinda go nice little cuts all along the rib cage, sliding the outside of it. And once you get down a little farther, you're gonna start coming in because there's a little bit more belly meat down there. Once you get that done, all the way to the bottom here, you can cut the skin off, get that fly off. And there we got one meatless walleye floating in the garbage. Now we're going to take the skin off, so we'll lay it tail end first. Pinch the end of it with your fingernail. Just get under along that skin at a kind of a downward angle, not too far downward though. Then pull it tight. Just kind of let it ride that skin. Don't push too hard. You don't want to cut through this skin. You just want to ride right along it. It's a little easier if we get it towards the edge of the counter here. Keep re-grabbing the skin closer, farther down, and dragging the knife along the skin. Keep that slight downward angle. And there we have it. Nice big fillet. Skin has no meat left on it. I'm going to wash these off and then put them in a bag with some marinade. I cut them into little chunks like that to make it a little easier to fit in the bag. So put all the fish in the bag. Then I'm going to put some Frank's Red Hot in there. Probably about a half a cup. Salt. Heartland pepper and garlic mix. Uh, two, two tablespoons of salt, garlic blend, and then I crack some pepper in there. And then zip it up, mix it all together, put it in the fridge for about an hour, and then it's ready to go. Oh, this is my uh, setup here. This is my side dish for the fish, so. Got a zucchini and chop that down the middle. Chop it down the middle one more time. And then chop it in chunks about a third of an inch or so. Same thing on this one, straight down the middle. Chunks. My cutting board is kind of small. All right, I'll get some of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to spread some butter. Oh, right there. Spread some of that on here. So nothing sticks. And I ripped a hole in it. Damn it. Oh well. Let's move everything farther over here. Alright, so zucchini is gonna go on there. Cutting those into chunks. Got potatoes. 
onions, zucchini, fresh chives, Gonna go right on top of that. And put some more butter on there. So uh, I'm gonna get a couple. Goes that for you. I'm gonna get a couple chunks on there. So it all gets cooked into there. Then also some seasoning on this. Same stuff I put on the fish minus the frank. So pepper and garlic. Salt. And it whoops, regular pepper. Then I am going to wrap it up. And this is gonna go on the grill. All right, so next up, I'm gonna turn the grill on. Put some olive oil in there. Always makes me sad when I see people keep fish and then they cook it in corn oil or canola oil or some of that other shit. So I got my fish here. I'm gonna let the oil heat up for a little bit. Bob's Red Mill breading, some kind of gluten free mix with almond flour, fava bean flour, I think, or I don't know. Six different kinds of flours. heat up for a minute there. I'm going to take a piece of fish, just set it right in the breading there, put some over top of it. It sticks pretty good with the Frank's Red Hot on there. Make sure the other side is fully coated. Then just putting it right into the hot oil there. Right, now that I got all the pieces in there, I'm just going to add some more oil, just kind of sprinkling it over the top of them. A couple pieces are a little thicker. Those are going to have to stay on a little longer, and the thinner ones are going to have to get flipped and taken off first. All right, so I got all the pieces flipped here. Took about three minutes for the thinner ones and about five for the thicker ones. Now the Big ones just got flipped about a minute ago and the little ones are ready to come off, so. Take the thin ones out. And give these thicker ones a little bit more time. fish off except these last two big pieces and right on my plate there of fish and vegetables a little bit of lemon juice and the only thing it's missing
All right, guys, so here's the finished product. Grilled vegetables, grilled walleye, pan-fried walleye, actually not grilled. So that's what it looks like there. Nice, delicious white meat. Now for the best part, you get to eat it. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time.